Hey everybody, it's Jay from Bullshit Corner. Today's video, we're just gonna hook up a what the fuck kind of gauge. So if you're wondering what a what the fuck gauge is, I'm gonna show you what it is. Actually, what we're gonna hook up is a vacuum gauge. There's a vacuum gauge here. Electronic sensor, just getting wiring. Of course, gotta have our fucking beer. In case you're wondering, uh, vacuum gauge is actually very useful in determining um, the quality of your engine. So this is how you're supposed to have the vacuum gauge hooked up. You want your T and your line going to your vacuum gauge on the Jeep, especially with this one here, before the check valve here. Because if I originally put it after the check valve and put it into that T here, but what happens is that the check valve prevents you from registering any drops in vacuum when you step on the gas and that's what you really want. So I had to put a little length of hose in there, make sure it's vacuum line. <clears throat> and then put the tea that the kid came with before that. Fucking right spear tastes good, so first thing we're gonna do is see how far this can go so I can mount it up. Sad so vacuum lines hooked back up, and I just ran my vacuum line through the firewall into the vehicle itself, and I'm gonna hook it up to the sensor and the gauge. So you can see in there I ran the vacuum line up to the sensor, which I'm just gonna have loosely right in there. I might zip tie it to the bracket. And then right down here, we're gonna drill the hole, and that's where we're gonna mount the gauge. All right, I got my hole drilled out now, so now I'm gonna remove the panel and properly install my gauge. So that's how the vacuum gauge looks installed. Now just to hook up the wiring, gonna connect it to the stereo, and then we're gonna see if this cocksucker works. All right, we got all this shit soldered in to the stereo. Now to put it all back together and see what's gonna happen. I just want to show you guys this. This is kind of uh, how your vacuum works in your vehicle. Anything between 0 and 10 inches of vacuum, it says late valve timing. Our leak at intake manifold or heat riser. 15 to about 17 says late ignition timing. And normal motor will run about 17 to about 20 something. So there you go. So we're Going to go into the Jeep and fire it up and see how it runs once it's warmed up. So there we're going, we're running about 17, 18, and I'm using a sport tune on the programmer. So that's pretty much right in the ballpark figure right there. And of course when you step on the gas, the vacuum's gonna drop. So that's pretty much the video of installing a vacuum gauge. Not very exciting, but at least I can monitor the vacuum in the engine and uh, People wonder what the fuck is that in there for? I did have one casualty of war when still in the vacuum gauge. My uh, gas powered fucking soldering pencil gun fell behind the dash because I had that top rail out and now it's MIA and it's 12 o'clock at night and I ain't fishing it out. Maybe I'll get lucky and it'll fall down below when I'm driving around. Otherwise, when the vehicle's running, I have about 20 inches of vacuum. Imagine getting a blowjob if a chick had fucking 20 inches of vacuum. That'd be fucking sweet. But anyways, uh, I'm out of beer. It's late. I'm tired. It's time to go to bed. Got to work tomorrow. So uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and check out my other videos for some more bullshit.